Hey, everyone. I'm your host of All Things Billy the Kid, Michael Anthony Judasissi. Thanks for joining me today for a fun uh, episode. Uh, we're going to call this one AI Billy. Um, and if you've used any of the new AI artificial intelligence programs, you feed a bunch of photos in and it try or you or you ask for a specific thing and it creates it for you. This is a little different. These were done by our buddy Nick from Germany, Travel Foxes Nick. Um, look, he told me the story of the Travel Foxes. I don't even know if I get it, so don't worry about it. But it's Nick. He's a guy. Um, and uh, Nick has was the gentleman that did the de-aging on Joseph Antrim's photo, uh, which we looked at a couple weeks ago on one of the live shows. And so he took old Joseph Antrim and made him look younger. Uh, I see there's a TikTok uh, filter for that now too. So, uh, But Nick decided to take on the challenge of Billy the Kid and create a combination of edited and AI uh, uh, Billy's. And he's really come up with something cool. There's a couple of them I'm going to show you. And these are based on well, one is based on an actual photograph that may or may not be Billy. We would know him as Dapper Billy. Um, but what uh, Nick did is he AI'd Billy's real face in, touched him up a little bit, and wanted him, that's Jake, and wanted him to look like probably a dog walking past would be my guess, or a human, or a bird. Or whatever <laughs> he wanted, uh, Billy. He wanted to create the Billy that would be at the the dances in Fort Sumner that Paulita talked about, always well dressed and manicured, and neat. Not the Billy that we see in the uh, in the the tin type that we all know of. And so here we are. We're going to show you AI Dapper Billy, and uh, I think this is really really cool. Uh, it, and and I and there he is, and I think that. If we met Billy the Kid dressed for a uh, a dance in Fort Sumner, I think he'd look a lot like this. So you can see Nick has taken Billy's actual face from the tin type, cleaned it up, straightened it up, uh, removed his kind of wonky chin, um, but he's still got the you know one high eye and one low eye, still got the same ears, got the hair curling out, but he's put him in the dapper Billy outfit. I mean the the guy looks awesome, and when I look at this. And this is just my belief, right? That I, I think we're looking at what Billy the Kid looked like. I think this is what he would have looked like when he was, you know, neatly dressed and not out on the range. Um, so you're looking back now some, I don't know, 145 years, 146 years. And this is the guy you probably would have met. He doesn't look all that threatening, does he? Looks like a, you know, nice kind of pleasant young man. Uh, well dressed, uh, looks like he's ready to uh, charm a few senoritas and uh, and dance a little bit. Um, I noticed that Billy either uh, has I don't know maybe some acne scars. <laughs> I don't know what all the the dots are here, um, but he's very smooth of face, uh, well, very clean shaven. So he definitely took his time to uh, uh, you know to make himself look his best, which I think is very cool. And he's got a nice uh, tie on. I'm not sure. No, I think that's just a regular necktie. It's not a four in hand, um, but I'm not 100% on that. I'm not a clothing expert nor an expert on anything, by the way. Um, but there he is. So you could imagine uh, we're in Fort Sumner. Let's call it, I don't know, July 1880. It's a hot night. Um, Billy has just uh, come in from selling horses in Tascosa. We're at Beaver Smith Saloon and there's a dance that's going to break out at Hargroves. So we get cleaned up as best we can. We shave in front of a little mirror and uh, we we put our, our best dancing clothes on and we walk over and here's this guy right inside the door. And he's with uh, Tom Follier and Charlie, Charlie and Manuela Bowdry and uh, um, Billy Wilson, Rudabaugh, you know, they're all there. Um, and I think this is who you would see. Really, really cool. Okay, now Nick has done another one. And uh, this one I think is even cooler because this, I believe, is the guy that we would have met out on the range. Um, I think that Billy's hat in the uh, in the photograph, you know, the, the famous tintype probably was a photographer's prop. It's not very utilitarian uh, for riding out. It sits too high, you know, the wind would catch it. It doesn't have a wide enough brim. 
um, you know, to really uh, do him much good, especially the back of the neck where you, you'd get sunburned. So I don't, I don't think that's, I think that was a prop, but I think this dude, this dude, I think is who we would meet out on the range. And there is Sombrero AI Billy. And you can see Nick has outfitted him, gave him a nice vest there. It looks like a, maybe a gambler's vest. He's got the collarless or the stand-up collar shirt. He's got a jacket on. Um, not quite as nice a jacket as the uh, dapper Billy, but awesome sombrero with the green. Uh, now, Nick told me I the green hat band would go around the hat portion, not the brim, but you wouldn't be able to see it. So in order to make it more authentic, he placed that green uh, uh, band around the uh, the brim of the hat, which looks really cool. But that looks like Billy, right? I mean, that is that is Billy. That's his face, just AI. But there's the buck teeth, the slightly protruding lip. You can see that this Billy's got a little bit of peach fuzz. He's, uh, yeah, he needs a, a shave before he goes to the dance, but he's got a little bit of a mustache there and a little bit of a, a little scruff on his chin. And uh, he looks, but his hair is neater. So I like dapper Billy with the curly hair. I think the ladies would probably love that. This Billy's got a better haircut where he tucked it all up inside his sombrero, uh, but he's not quite as neat. But I think that you're riding along and you see a big bay mare coming, flying, screaming across the, uh, the uh, Fort Sumner Road trail toward Roswell. And you see a guy with a sombrero and a, a green hat band. I think this is the guy that you run into. And I think this is William H. Bonney, or at least the most, uh, the closest likeness we're going to get to him. I love the photos. Thank you, Nick, by the way. I love the the photos for one reason. Even if we find another or 10 other Billy the Kid photos, you know, most of the ones that are in serious consideration are not in great shape, right? They're better than the known tin type, but they're not terrific. But if you want to look at Billy the Kid, look here. I mean, look right here. This this is this is the guy. It's taken directly from his face. You know, did Billy the Kid strike a pose at, like this at some point in his 17, 18, 19, 21 years, 90 years, whatever it was? Yeah, I'm sure he did. I'm sure if there was a camera around every minute, we'd have a picture that would look kind of just like this and probably one just like this. Uh, so you can you can keep searching for the, you know, for the historical record. You can keep looking for these photos, uh, you know, so you can add it to the knowledge base. But I don't think Billy's going to look dramatically different than he does here or than he does here. I think this is the guy. I think this is just so well done um, and uh, should be plastered across every Billy the Kid uh, social media group and website and those kind of things. So people can get a sense of who who the who the young boy or young man was. Um, you can almost... Not quite. You, you could if you're crazy. You could almost talk to him and imagine that this guy would talk back to you. And uh, that's the uh, updated and real AI Billy the Kid. I don't need to uh, really don't need to see any more original photos of him. I mean, if somebody finds one, great. I'd love to look at it. I don't think it's going to show me anything much different or, or even uh, close to the quality of what we're seeing right here. So Billy, nice to meet you, dude. Appreciate you coming by the show. And uh, hopefully we'll see this guy somewhere out on the range. And this guy somewhere out on the dance floor. I'm Michael Anthony Judas for all things Billy the Kid. And we will see you next time. Bye.